page spreads. This is the first time I've had the opportunity to professionally draw a double page spread in a comic book. So I thought I'd just talk about it briefly because it is quite a complex thing, both for the artist, the writers and the printers. Um, on a lot, in a lot of comic books, especially the ones I've worked on previous to uh, joining Tidal Wave, I've needed to leave a, like a, a white border around the edges of my artwork, which has prohibited me from being able to do a double page spread. Um, this isn't my artwork, this is Jim Lee's artwork, but I just wanted to demonstrate how the top professionals do all the double page spread. So as you can see, then a really nice double page spread of a, a helicopter going to some sort of James Bond style sea base. And what's a key note to, is about this, that there's no suit really vital information across this seam here. So although you've got a tiny little bit of the helicopter there and a little bit of there, there's nothing important, it's not breaking up any, uh, any any features, there's no one's like face or anything, anything that's vital to the storytelling in that scene, because of course sometimes it gets slightly lost, um, especially when it gets turned into a graphic novel, so you don't want anything going across that scene, but um, like I mentioned, I'm working for Tidal Wave, um, and I'm currently working on Chris Pratt's biography comic book, and the writer, Michael Frizzell, he's written in like a two pages dedicated to Chris Pratt's movie career up to the point of the Lego movie. So I decided I wanted to do this, these two pages as a montage as in this double page spread. And what I did was I drew each element of this montage separately so I could play around with it. And so this started off with the Lego movie and that's really going to be my uh, the centerpiece of my montage. This is one of Chris's early movies, The Extreme Team, where he was a snowboarder that gets involved in being a, chased by helicopters whilst they're shooting machine guns. So I tried to really emphasise all of those elements all in one picture there. And then he had a sort of a bit part where in The Wanted where he, his main role was to get smashed across the face, really, with a keyboard, so I drew in that, that scene. Oh, and he had a role in uh, The Delivery Man, which is a comedy, but during this time in his career, he put on a little bit of weight, and so I've, I've sort of overemphasised that, both with his, his jet posture, with his hands open out wide, as well as I've exaggerated his, his waist slightly. Sorry, Chris, if you're watching. And Moneyball is another film, where, and all about baseball, obviously. So I've really drawn what to me is the, the key element of baseball, someone at the pitch. And then what I did was then scanned all that artwork into the computer, merged it all onto one picture, and and I've added a few photographs just because there were some blank spaces um, on my montage that I wanted to fill. Originally, my intention was to simply to fill them with flying Lego bricks. But I thought that actually that's a little bit of a cheat too far, and so I wanted to do something a bit more. And so I added in uh, Jennifer's Body, a film with Megan Fox. Um, over here, you can see him. At, he's meant to be. This is actually where I've merged two separate photographs, but I'll, I'll redraw it. So it's Chris Pratt sat at a computer typing from his disaster film, Path of Destruction. And then there's a scene from a, a chick flick he did down there. And then what I've done, I've printed it out. I had to print it on four A4 pages because I don't have an A3 printer yet. And, and then I've traced it using my light box onto two separate comic book pages. Okay, and I've been really careful to make sure that all these lines that go across the centre merge up. And as you can see, although Megan Fox and Chris Pratt are very close on the, the centre line there, their faces don't actually cross that line. Although his hand crosses that line, I, I, I needed to at some point cross that line. And in the centre, Emmett from the Lego movie, his arm and legs cross the line, but it's not really vital. And you can still see the expression on his face. So even if, even when those pages are creased slightly, you'll still be able to 
get a feel for what's happening in that central image. And here, when he's kissing his co-star from a movie, although her hair technically is crossing the line, so I'm breaking my own rule there. As it's hair and it's sort of all one shape, I don't really think it's going to make too much of an issue. There. And now I'm going to go and scan these pages individually onto onto my computer and then I'll, then I'll, I'll merge them and colour them as one page before I send them off to my editor to check them out. Here's the finished ink scanned into the computer and merged. And then what I've done is using layers, I've coloured the backgrounds of every separate element of the montage. Then I've coloured in Emmett and the Lego bricks in the centre on one layer. And then I'll go to each other element, colouring in uh, that area on a separate backgrounds. And as you see, with every with each element that gets filled in, it really helps to bring the picture uh, back to unify all and really make it a completed picture. And uh, I hope you like it. I hope you think it's been successful. And I hope this inspires you to go out and just draw comic books and double pages.